Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about key experiments in physics and today I'm talking about the Michelson-Morley experiment. In the 19th century, physicists were very interested in mechanical models of the ether because electromagnetic waves had been detected in 1886 and then of course people were thinking, oh, that such a wave needs a medium. And uh, the question was, is there a medium in which these electromagnetic waves propagate? And to test this hypothesis, Michelson and Morley designed a very ingenious experiment. You have a light beam and a half-transparent mirror, and you set it up in a way that you can send the one ray in, say, east-west direction and the other one in north-south direction and then the light propagates in this and that direction and when it returns then you can you see an interference pattern and this interference pattern is very sensitive to length differences and uh, I did this when I was in high school it was very very difficult to do because you have to shield it from motion on any percussion, uh, even a, a truck uh, in 100 meters distance would, would influence the experiment. Anyway, you can you, you see that interference pattern and then what you can do is turn around the whole device and if there is a difference in speed of light east-west and, the dif and uh, speed of light north-south, then you would see that as a shift of these interference rings. And why should there be a difference between the east-west and north-south uh, speed of light? Because if the Earth uh, orbits around the Sun, of course, there should be a net motion through that imaginary ether. And this is the way you could possibly detect it. So the result was, as everyone knows, there was no such effect and people were kind of desperate at the first moment, but uh, this null result was taken as evidence that there is no ether, there is no medium, and, and uh, that in turn helped Einstein's theory of general relativity to gain ground. However, Einstein himself noted in 1920 that not necessarily this experiment, his uh, theory of relativity, contradicts the concept of an ether. And very interestingly, if you look at the uh, elastic material, which is an ether, and then you consider the propagation of waves, you note know that the transverse speed of sound shows the same characteristics as the speed of light in relativity. That means that you observe something like length, length contraction and even mass increase of the elastic energy. That was found later in the 1940s. Why I'm telling you that? Because uh, everyone says that the Michelson-Morley experiment disproves the ether. It's a very important experiment, but at the very end it does not disprove the ether. If you assume that particles are not substances that have to move through this ether, but if the particles are disturbances like topological defects that can move through that elastic medium. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental questions, subscribe to this channel.